This week on PBC Jabs, we recap the action from our thrilling July 15th and July 18th shows, and we check in with 135 pound champ Mikey Garcia, who battles Adrian Broner in a highly anticipated showdown July 29th on Showtime. Welcome back, boxing fans. I'm your host, Jordan Hardy, and this is PBC Jabs. On Saturday, July 15th, former world champs Omar Figueroa Jr. and Robert Guerrero met on Fox in a 147 pound matchup. This was Figueroa's first fight since December of 2015, but ring rust obviously wasn't an issue as he came out victorious. Take a look. Volume will throw you down. Another uppercut. Double uppercut. Now he's got Guerrero against the rest. And he's laying the chopping right hand, and that's it. Oh, and that's it. And that's it. And that's it. Then on July 18th, PBC delivered a 126 pound bout between prospect Miguel Flores and former world title challenger Chris Avalos. Flores controlled the first few rounds and even scored a knockdown in round three, but the exciting contest came to an abrupt ending in round five when a cut above Flores' left eye was deemed too serious for him to continue, giving Flores his second back-to-back -back loss. To see more video highlights and for a full fight recap, visit PremierBoxingChampions.com. On July 29th, PBC delivers a fight that will be sure to entertain as former four-division world title holder Adrian Broner takes on undefeated three-division champ Mikey Garcia in a 140-pound bout live on Showtime from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. We wanted to check in with Mikey before he faces the problem. Mikey, good to see you. Thanks for joining us on Jazz. Yeah, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. You were at 126 pounds, then 130 and 135, and now 140 against Adrian Broner. Do you honestly feel your power is transcending with the moves up in weight? And where would you like to cap it at? Well, I think the power uh, is, is, is the same, it's consistent. I just think that because I'm fighting uh, bigger guys, you know, they might be able to take a punch better and people might feel that the power might not be there, but I feel strong, I feel fast, I feel just as good as ever. What's your biggest confidence going into this fight? Well, you know what, I, I always work hard. I always, uh, you know, dedicate myself to sport. I'm always training. So I got no no concerns in that. And uh, I mean, Adrian Broner has had his ups and downs in his career. He has a few uh, bad performances, but whenever he's in shape, he's also a great, great fighter. So I, I think it's, it's uh, you know, not a matter of, of, you know, what I bring to the ring. I think it's just a matter of who Adrian Broner, you know, what Adrian Broner steps into the ring that night, but I'm confident, you know, I have all the skills to beat him. I read that Broner plans on defeating you, then fighting on the Mayweather McGregor card a few weeks later in August. What's your response to that? Um, you know what? I, that's that's a, you know, great plan for him. Uh, he can he can keep those plans. Even after I beat him, he can probably still fight on that fight. That's, that's just, uh, you know, another day for him to get in the ring and put on a good show if he wants to. Now, clearly, Broner has plans already after your fight to you. What would you like the rest of 2017 to entail for you? Well, I think I think we want to stay busy. I want to get another fight before the end of the year. I want to be back in the ring, uh, either unifying titles at 135 or fighting at 140 or possibly in Walterway. I mean, who knows? As long as I have options, I'm in a great place. Well, Mikey, thank you for coming on the show and best of luck to you. The fifth start flying at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, live on Showtime. For ticket information, camp exclusives, and pre-fight details, visit PremierBoxingChampions.com. That's all for this episode of PBC Jabs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time as we continue to bring you the best in boxing.